What's up, everybody? SJG, HBCU Game Day, and we are in VA, the 757. Man, we got a great one for you. Norfolk State University hosting Virginia State University. Now, this is an old rivalry that dates back to the CIAA days and even before that, because, you know, Norfolk State actually used to be a part of Virginia State University. But look, these two teams, there may be D1 versus D2, but it's all about family here. It's all about competition and fun, and that competition not only extends to the football field, but it goes out to the tailgates as well. So I decided, you know what? Hey, I got a little bit of time left before the game starts. Let me go out to the tailgates, see who's popping, and see which state really gets busy on the grill. VSU, big state, NSU, little state, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Well, my mother, my sister, both graduated from Norfolk State. My dad got his master's from there. I have a sister in the band there. I have another sister in the band at Virginia State. Just growing up in the 757, it's always been about the rivalry between Virginia State and Norfolk State. It's a great game all around. Great bands, great fans. Are you going to show us something? <laughs> Right, all right, I see you, I see you. Now, are you a former drum major, my man? Oh, you can still go, you can still go. You ain't let it go yet. My man. With the cigarette in his hand. Boom. That's how you know you. No doubt, the yard was popping, but I had to get back into the stadium for the game. Now, I have been promised girls. a pre-game play. Has anybody seen Mom to Sports Girls? But I couldn't find my sponsor. Mom to Sports Girls, where are you? I'm looking for you. I can't find you. I'm hungry. And anyway, it was time to get back in and go to the game. Early in the first quarter, Pootie Carter hits Kevin Johnson with a 33-yard touchdown pass, and NSU is up 7-0. VSU was able to tie the game early in the second quarter, but then they caught a bad case of the fumbles. I mean, VSU had four of the joints before halftime. And Pootie in the game were more than happy to take advantage of it. They scored a couple touchdowns, and by the time we got to halftime, it was 23-7 Norfolk State over VSU. Halftime, explosive, Trojan explosion to be exact. VSU's band came down on a mission and they did not disappoint. They put on pretty good for the CIAA. Everybody knows that William Dick Price Stadium, man, that's the home of the Spartan Legion, one of the baddest bands in all of HBCU land, and they were in rare form on Saturday night. They hit us with the Before I Let Go. Sorry, old school. It was the Beyonce version, but man, it was rocking. Next up, they had a little bit of that Lizzo juice that everybody's drinking right now, including myself. And they are 100% that band. And of course, they had to finish up with the Old Town Road because can't nobody tell them nothing. So the cheerleaders got together for a picture, the mascots got together for a picture, and these cousins, they could kind of go at it a little bit. They had a little fun. And maybe I gassed them just a little bit, but hey, it's all fun, right? Both teams made some big plays in the second half, but at the end of the day, the Trojans just could not overcome those six turnovers that they put up. And Norfolk State, they handled business. Norfolk State 44, Virginia State 21. The game, eh, it was exciting. Both teams were able to move the ball. Virginia State couldn't punch it in a lot of times, and they gave Norfolk State a lot of opportunities to do so, and they did so as well. But at the end of the day, this game is just a part of this weekend and this rivalry. You know, we met uh, people who, you know, had children to go to one school and another school, saw spouses that uh, had on one color shirt and another shirt, but it was all love for the most part before 
during and after the game as well. So a really great night here in Virginia. I enjoyed myself, but it's been a long day, a long drive, and I didn't get any tailgate food, but it's okay. Next time.